So let's start at the Emirates. And and Southampton have not had a good start to the season. They've leaked goals, nope. haven't really scored too many. And that was probably the fixture out of Arsenal and Man City that you thought that'll be the easier of the two. But it wasn't, was it? And it started before kickoff when the team sheets were announced, or the lineups were announced, and the team sheets were made public. Gabriel Jesus coming in, Raheem Sterling coming in, and outgoing Martinelli and Trossard. If you can't make changes to a game that you're expected to win comfortably, when can you make changes? But neither really had much of an impact, did they? No, no, they didn't. And and I'll be honest, I'm, I'm with you in that I saw the changes that Arteta made and I thought this makes perfect sense. Mm-hmm. Given the number of games that Arsenal will be expecting, if not hoping, to, to play during the course of the season, um, uh, and, and, and I, I want to keep players fresh, throughout, yeah, at home to Southampton, this is exactly the kind of game that, that you make that you make changes. And, and and I thought I thought Arsenal as a result made made harder work of it. Before the game I, I heard Southampton described as um this season's Burnley, a team that are, are trying to play football even out from the back. Um even when it gets them in trouble they they, they still want to they, they they still stick by by those principles. Um if you look at, at the game last week, which uh, I think was Bournemouth, uh, and, and they finished up with, with a more physical approach, and, and that's kind of maybe what was expected. Um, and in, in some regards, that's kind of what you got. Mm-hmm. I think I'm right in saying um, at, at the half, there was one shot on target, and, and, and that came from, from Southampton. So that spoke to maybe the effectiveness of Southampton, um, because, again, I kind of understood, sympathised with, the, the changes that were made. It's funny you mention that because it's something I was going to bring up. Arsenal actually had their first shot on target just before half time because I saw the graphic, I'm sure you did as well, watching it. 11 shots from Arsenal, zero on target mm-hmm. until that one. I think it was Saka just towards the end of, of the first half. It was a lot of the ball, but they were doing absolutely nothing with it. And I suppose if you're, if you're putting Gabriel Jesus through the middle, he's a good striker, but he just he's not in form right now. And you're bringing Raheem Sterling in, you probably need someone like a Martin Odegaard. And they didn't have that right now. And it was really? goalless at half time. Now, Cameron and Archer came on for Ross Stewart just before the half hour mark after Ross Stewart got hurt. And it was Archer that opened the scoring for Southampton. Now, it's not the first time that Arsenal have fallen behind or the first time recently that, that they've conceded. Before we get to their response, what did you make of the Southampton goal? No problem at all with it. Ra- uh, Raheem Sterling dispossessed. He was appealing for a foul. I-, I didn't think it was a foul first time of asking. The replays didn't suggest that, that it should have been given. Um, listen, I, 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 as far as I'm concerned, and, and listen, I, I, I know that the game has changed so much and that oftentimes... Once a player goes to ground, the whistle somehow inevitably goes. But I, I, I didn't see that as being a foul at all. And, and then all of a sudden, uh, Arsenal in transition, space over the top. Um, Archer gets a great ball in behind, really nice finish uh, for Southampton to take the lead. I, I thought it was just good football. And Sydney, I, I didn't think Arsenal could have any complaints about mm. it. The way I always like to look at this, because you, you know what football's like, Shaka. We all have our favourites, and, and we look at it through the tinted, coloured glasses of the team mm-hmm. that we support. If that had been the other way around, and Arsenal had had a goal chalked off because that was deemed to have been a foul in reverse, they wouldn't have liked it. So you can't no. say it would have been a foul for them uh, against your team, but not a foul for your team against them. But But that's the way it works. But you know what? Arsenal, again, especially at home, they find a way. Good teams do that. And Arsenal are a really good yeah. side. And Havertz scoring at home, that's what he does. And it was a good equaliser, but it's more about the timing of the equaliser so quickly after Southampton had taken the lead. What was it? Three minutes after Southampton yeah. takes the lead? And, and this is why, I, again, I kind of liked and liked that analogy of, of Southampton being this season's Burnley. And, and, mm-hmm. and, and I think it's apt. And, and that goes summed it up. You go away to the Emirates. You take the lead. And yet you insist on passing the ball out to the back in the way that, mm. that, that you do. Um, take some heat out of the game. Take some emotion out of it. Go long once or twice. Just protect that lead for as long as, as, for as, long as, as, as you can. Then you want to settle back into playing a natural game. 
but Southampton give the ball away cheaply, very cheaply at, at, at the back. Ball falls nicely for, for Bakayo Saka, nice little ball in for Kai Havertz. And to his credit, and I have been very critical of Kai Havertz, um, it was an absolutely fantastic finish. Take, take nothing away from Kai Havertz. And, and while, yes, you could talk about Southampton and this need to play out to the back and giving it away cheaply in transition, um, take nothing away. From, from Kai Havertz's finish to, to bring themselves back in the game. And then all of a sudden, um, I, I thought that from this point, Arsenal played their best football. Yeah. I, I thought Arsenal barely contested to, 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 to uh, what you were saying earlier about, about, about their possession. I, I, Arsenal did not know for a lot up until then. From then on in, though, I, mm. I only ever felt that there was going to be one winner. Yes, of course, there's always a possibility that Something happens because you know from a set piece or something really short. So I'm pretty sure that they can they, they can create or certainly create a chance um, seemingly out of nothing. And but um, I, I felt Arsenal win with fun control up up to that uh, from that point I should say mm-hmm. because of the triple change on the R mark. Where despite Gabriel Jesus and Raheem Sterling trying really hard, it wasn't their day. And they brought on Trossard and they brought on Martinelli and of course they brought on. New signing Mikel Marino, yeah. who got a good ovation for Jorginho. And after that, it was it wasn't all Arsenal. We'll get to that. But it, they just it was like it was like slipping into your pair of comfy slippers at the yeah. end of a work day. It just it just felt like something was going to happen and it didn't take long for it to happen. No, it didn't. And and um you show the qualities that, that Arsenal possess. Uh, Bukayo Saka ball ball into the far post for, for Martinelli. Say, say that, let, let, let me just say, and, and part of the goalkeeper's union here, and, and while Martinelli was onside, I, I do not challenge that. Uh, uh, we know. And, and, uh, for, for the second goal? Mm-hmm. Um, Marino, is whether or not Marino's made a play on the ball, because he looks like, and that's what they're checking, he's deemed not to have made an attempt to play on the ball, but as a goalkeeper, what are you saying? That, that's that's what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. If I'm Ramsdale, that's that's the player I'm playing because yep. it really doesn't miss him by much. I know say, uh, Ramsdale doesn't make an appeal or point to, to where uh, Marino is or, or anything of the sort. And he does get around fairly comfortably. Um, but he had to play Marino. And, and then only when, when the ball beats him, he then has to shuffle around uh, further to, to, to Martinelli. Now, I, I just, as a keeper, and, and listen, as a neutral, I get it. Maybe that's how the law is written and, and it, you're told to interpret it. But just as a keeper, you cannot tell me that you were not influenced by that run, by that jump. You, 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 you simply cannot tell me. Um, but then, again, um, that being said, Good finish from Martinelli from a very tight angle. But the ball from Bakayo Saka to pick him out mm-hmm. was, again, something special. Which I find I've been saying about Bakayo Saka um, on, on a fair few occasions this season. You've seen it from, from set pieces. Maybe at times, and the criticism is, that Bakayo Saka doesn't have that kind of outsized impact, that lasting impact in games that, that maybe he should. But every so often, you see this quality from Saka that I, I don't think anybody else, certainly in, 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 in Arsenal's squad, gives you. Because that was a fantastically delivered ball by Bakayo Saka. And it's a good finish as he gets his goal. Yeah, it's a good finish. Assists. Near the end, well, it's a good finish by Saka near the end yeah, after oh, a heavy yes. touch by the Southampton defender. So, Again, win it. Southampton making their own problems yeah. in being the Burnley of this season. Yeah. Yeah. Like the, just before that, they had a chance to, to score. Uh, Cross came in, and I think it was Taylor Pellis who he didn't make kind of come off like, everybody. Yeah, the didn't they? Yeah, was, Again, that, that was, that's what I'm saying. When, when there's one goal in it, there, there's always that threat that the opponent just gets mm-hmm. something out of nothing. And that was one of those. That was one of those. It's less about yeah. Southampton's um, class mm-hmm. than, um, than it is just, that's football. Yeah, yeah. And look, 
Martinelli, Trossard, get a rest, come on, play half an hour, yeah. mm-hmm. involved in a win, Arsenal win it 3-1, job done. You're not releasing a DVD or whatever they have these days. I don't know the technological availabilities of well, that game. I'm, I'm you're, pretty you're... sure we've gone past DVDs. <laughs> I don't know what the phrase is, though, so you can't really use that. And by the way, as someone that transferred in, Gabriel Martinelli, into my Fantasy Premier League team last night and then saw he was on the bench, there's no way that Marino was playing that ball and that goal was perfectly right to have yeah, uh, That's Martinelli. what it's all about. I That's what it. it's all about. Yeah, selfishness. 